Well guys, I've just checked the window and it looks like having the dehumidifier in the office overnight has worked wonders. Everything is now born dry, so it looks like we've uh, caught this before it was a major problem. I don't even know if I'm in focus, that's how early and tired I am. I'm not doing too well. The cold that I've picked up from visiting family in the northeast has definitely taken hold, so I'm going to take it easy today. So anyway, yes I am wearing the same clothes yesterday. I'm not going anywhere and I don't feel well, so I just thought I'd throw on just comfy stuff. Because I'm run down, I'm going to be working in the office again. As much of what I was doing yesterday, video editing reports, uh, doing my casework, uh, do it via my uh, council appointed phone, and uh, we'll see how we go. I'm eating plenty of orange. Vitamin C, it's, it's rule number one when you've got a cord, isn't it? Trying to get on. I've almost finished editing Jen's video for today. Normally I have that edited on Tuesday or Wednesday and it goes up then so her patreons get it early but we're gonna have to issue an apology and give them monday's video early instead because it's just been one of those weeks where we came back uh, home from new year and that took up a lot of time and then she had to go back to work and that's taken up the rest of the time so we've recorded when we had a minute and as a result we're a bit late don't like doing that i don't like uh letting uh patreon people down but we will give them mondays uh, in advance as compensation, so they should be fine with that. I hope they are anyway, because that's how it is. Anyway, I'm gonna have my orange as a snack on this diet. Replace one of the snack bars or something like that. Just try and get some vitamin C up. I'm sick of being sick. It's ridiculous. I'm hoping that uh, when I lose weight and get healthier, it will mean that my immune system gets the hint. But uh, who knows, because my immune system is weird. I have um, an autoimmune disorder, lupus, and it causes a huge amount of problems. <laughs> so basically I get sick whenever other people around me are sick and then it tries to attack me even harder because of it. But what can you do, eh? You just gotta get on. So let's do that, let's just get on. And that there is the sum total of what I produced yesterday in terms of video because I was ill, like I said. So after I'd finished my council work, that was actually the demonstration of just how glamorous council work is. Just uh, writing things and emailing. It, that's pretty much what we do. We're meeting people, solving problems. But uh, the main part of solving that problem is writing things and sending emails. It's just how it is. Anyway, since that was a short one, it's about two and a half minutes. Yep, two minutes, 28 seconds. You can tell I'm feeling better today. The reason that it's short is I went straight to bed afterwards. So I want to finish off today's video by talking about how and why I vlog. Now, the first thing that you need to know is I vlog because it's an extension of what I used to do as a kid, which was keep a diary. I was a diarist as a kid. I've still got a load of my old diaries and they're nice to have a look back through every now and again. See how I've changed as a person, what I was doing back in the time, because not everything that you did you remember. It's one of those things. So it's an aid to memory. And the vlog is the same way. So I like it from that point of view. I also like the, from the fact that I can share this uh, time with you guys. I am a politician and people have a poor opinion of politicians in the main. They think that we only turn up for elections, that we are only interested in ourselves and things like that. So I wanted to counteract that by showing just how interested in the community I am, how hard I work for the community and what I do. And also just to show you that I am a person, you know, with uh, with my own uh, hobbies and interests and things like that. So, and that's part of what I'm doing. But the main thing is, for the same reason that I have a diary. Well, had a diary. I kind of still have one, but I don't tend to write in it. It's one of those things because this has taken that place. So that's why I do it. How do I do it? Well, that is a good question. I do it by editing on iMovie. iMovie is free software that comes on a Mac. You can get stuff for Windows, but I couldn't tell you what it is because I haven't used a Windows PC my goodness, since I've started making my first uh, YouTube show, the Knob Mouse Show, way back when. <laughs> I 
I did three years of a daily news review show, and I edited that on my iBook, a tiny, uh, low-powered uh, Macintosh laptop, which I adored, and which I still have. It doesn't work anymore. The battery doesn't work, and it's very hard to get a replacement on those old ones. So I don't have to use it, but I still have it. And as a consequence, I haven't edited a video on a Windows PC in about a decade, so I couldn't tell you what the best thing is. It's probably something like... Uh, Adobe Premiere, but you'll have to rent that these days. It's uh, it's not something you can buy, really. So that's an issue, but I use iMovie. You can use whatever you want, but I use this because it's free and it's good. It's really, really good. Now that they've sorted out some of the main issues, like uh, the fact that it used to duplicate all of your files, if you were trying to pull something into edit, it would leave the original copy and have a copy of its own that it could then pull from. This one just pulls from the original files and makes temporary files as and when needed which is a much better way of doing it. Now, iMovie's not the only thing you'll need. You need to be able to film as well. So, what do I use? Well, a lot of the time I use my iPhone. It has a fairly good camera. If I start a recording, you'll see what I mean. It has a fairly good camera, and I'm recording now, and you can see it's in HD. It's in 1080 HD, about, uh, I think it's about 12 megapixels. In good light, this looks fantastic. Good light is what you need. And there you are. There's my massive light that I use in here which is what I use for recording, and it makes everything look pretty good. It's a sustained, steady, flat light, basically, and it makes things look great. But this isn't the only thing that I use. When I'm out and about, where is it? It does this every time. When I'm out and about, I use this. This is an HXA1. It's a Panasonic camera, and I'll show you how big the camera actually is when I take the tripod and mount it apart. That's the camera, HXA1. This is what's called a helmet cam or an action cam. Turn it on. It's got no screen. If you want to see what it's recording, I need to bring up the phone again because it's a smartphone attached. And there you are. It will keep going like this and it will echo and echo and echo like mad. So if I turn off the microphone, I'm not sure where that's gone. There's a, there's a button somewhere to turn off the microphone, but what you can see here is that I'm now recording on here, which is a bit weird. You can see how it's a slight delay on the phone, and if I push it into the phone, it'll go all weird with a howl around. And now it's doing a Doctor Who thing. So let's stop that. This is a 5 megapixel camera. It's not brilliant quality, but in good light, like what oh, I've got in here with the big massive light, it makes a good quality image. And it has an advantage that the colours are so bright and intense, it is brilliant. I tend to use this when I'm out and about because taking this massive camera that I'm going to talk about in a moment is not always possible. So I have a camera with me at all times. I have my phone and I have this at all times. Sometimes you want to be able to focus on something and be able to get a good shot and that means using the phone or this big camera. Sometimes you want to do spontaneous stuff, you want to get into a certain angle, you want uh, something small and light that you can just pull out of your pocket and film. That's when I use this camera, the phone, or if I've got it with me, this big camera. But that's not always possible because the camera I'm about to show you is not waterproof. This is my standard HD camera. It's a Canon EOS 700D. It's big. It's got a top-mounted microphone with a wind guard on it, but that's an added extra. The main camera has a microphone in it, but it doesn't have a wind guard, which is why I attach this. However, Canon does have a major flaw in that the microphone socket is there, so you plug in there, that gets damaged, the port gets damaged, which means you get a lot of crackle. I don't tend to use it unless I absolutely have to, and I have to keep trying and trying again to get a good connection. It's a major flaw on Canon, but the cameras are brilliant otherwise. It's 50 megapixels. It looks amazing in low light and high light, but it's 400 pounds. If you're starting out, I recommend that you don't go for this immediately. Go for something like this. It's 80 quid for the uh, action camera. Use your smartphone or something like that. Something that you've already got to hand. A point and shoot camera with a video option on it. That's great. The first year of the Knob Mouse Show was filmed on a little uh, Vivitar camera that didn't even have a microphone. I used it for side shots and just dubbed over the uh, sound with my main camera, which was an iPhone 4. I came across a lot of discussions about private servers and how they're, apparently they're illegal. And this really annoys me because illegal has a very strict definition. You can work very well on a smartphone. 
if you know what you're doing, and you will know what you're doing if you give it a try and practice. Practice makes perfect. This camera I love, but I don't tend to take it out a huge amount because it's not waterproof. If this breaks in the rain, I'm screwed, basically. And also, I've got it attached to a tripod mount at the moment, so I can stick it back onto the tripod in a moment. When I'm out and about, I use this. It's a gorilla pod. It's a small tripod that I can flex and bend. These move in great ways. So I can attach it to things, I can hold it, and it'll look like I'm just relaxed and not holding the camera. It's very humid. It's actually killing. Killing to be out because of the humidity. Positioning, holding a camera, things like that, they're well worth thinking about. But again, start with a smartphone, start with a selfie stick attached to your smartphone. I do that a lot actually. I carry a smartphone and a little action camera and a selfie stick around with me at all times so I can film even when I don't have the big camera with this tripod. So there you have it. Cameras are great and I recommend that you get a nice camera once you're comfortable with it. But being comfortable with it is key. So start out with your phone or a little action camera. It doesn't matter what kind of camera you're using. Once you've got the camera and you, you probably already have one, like I say, a smartphone will do it, get used to editing. The first uh, thing I did when I wanted to make films was I sat down and made films. I didn't really know what I was doing. The first few episodes of the Knob Mouse Show, which are not available on YouTube, by the way, I've, I think I've got rid of almost all of the Knob Mouse Show because, oh my goodness, I cringe now when I see them. But that's not the point. They were never something that was going to last the test of time. They were there because a daily news review show was me talking about the news and commenting on the news and then editing that video that I'd made. Editing is the key. Get yourself onto your editing software and just film something. Try something like a, a replica of a scene or two from a show that you like. It doesn't matter if you've got the props or the costumes or anything like that. Just try and make that shot for shot. See what you do. You've got to set up a shot there. So you, then you do something. And then you go and move it to there. And there are cuts and cuts and wipes and transitions and all sorts. Get used to editing by doing something like that. Or make your own film. Or do what I did and sit down in front of a camera and talk. And then see how many times you have to cut out a flub or something like that. You'll notice I cut a lot in these. And that's because I edit. You have to edit. It's just one of those things. Get used to it. Get comfortable with it. Then you can make a vlog. And that's all you need to do. Good luck. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. See you tomorrow.